this is Amber with wonderbaby.org and I'm here with Gail Yarnell. She's the Director of Adaptive Technology at Perkins Products and I wanted to ask you today, Gail, um, the iPhone and the iPad and all the Apple products use the screen reader VoiceOver and I was wondering what you think of VoiceOver compared to other screen readers. The only places that I have really used VoiceOver are the phone and the, um, the iPad so I haven't really used it on the Mac. And of course it is the same program and it uses the same commands that are gestures on the computer as it does on the phone, which is a really nice feature, but um, it's not to my judgment quite the screen reader that most of the screen readers are that we would use with Windows. The and again, it may just be that I haven't, I'm not as familiar with what it can do on the computer. So I'm going to compare it, if I compare it to other screen readers on phones, it's definitely as good. Hmm. But other phones don't do everything that the Apple phones, the smartphones do. And so, you know, for example, I, I've seen people create documents on an iPhone, and I would never feel that I was comfortable enough to really create a document and and know that it was formatted and all those kinds of things on an iPhone as I would on my Windows right. device. So it's in if you're thinking about what you're going to use on a phone, I wouldn't anybody as in again I have opinions <laughs> and I can be very opinionated but I I can't imagine why you would buy a screen reader for a smartphone anymore because you're, you're locked into that phone and, and the screen readers don't keep up with the versions of the phones where with the iPhone your your screen reader is always going to work with your version of your software because they're not going to release a version of the software for the phone that doesn't match the newest thing that you can just download for free for voiceover. It's all connected all together. You don't go back and say I need the newest version of voiceover. It's right. all built in when you download the latest app. So, for example, right now we're waiting for a new release of Apple software that will allow us to use Braille input keys. That will be in the Apple release. We don't have to go back and say, now I want the voiceover right. release. It's all together in one thing, which is really an amazing thing. And that I can use anybody's iPhone, right? which is pretty amazing. Do you, can you show us voiceover in action? Yeah. I'm going to turn my phone on. 913. Tuesday, slide to unlock. We to go. Bookshelf. Button. And I'm gonna play pause. Button. Go back play. to Phil, we want to go. Play them. If you were not going back to Newark, I should like to have you play with me this evening. I don't have any previous phrase. Play I pause. Have to sleep. pause. Turn that off. Now I can turn my Next speech phrase. off Button. by pressing the home key three times. Mm -hmm. Voice over off. So now I can hand this phone to my husband, and he can use oh, it. That's not you voiceover stay. speech, that's the speech to go speech, I didn't know that was. And decided to accept the offer of his new friend. Voice this over off. This is my night off from the store, he said. Bookshelf. I haven't got to come back after summer. Next Just stay around here until 6 o'clock. Then I'll take pause. you home and review some. Pause. So you hear two voices. Mm -hmm. One is the voiceover voice, and the other is the read to go voice. So you kind of have a sense of what our commands and what is what you're listening to. That read to go voice will only be in read to go. So if I go somewhere else now. Utilities folder. Stocks. Utilities folder. Oh, let's folder. check Stocks. the stock market. That's yeah. always a good Stocks. laugh. Dow Jones Industrial Average. 12,845.13. Down. Minus 17.10. Change of. I think that might be. Dow Jones Industrial let's, let's Average. Make sure that's current. 12,845.13. Down. Minus 17.10. Yes, so that's... Change of. Minus 0 0.13 percent. Previous detail view. So in that Stocks. application, we're just Stocks. using Stocks. voiceover Stocks. speech. Right. So that's it. So it's it it's um it's not hard to use. It's it takes some practice and takes some some sort of being willing to be a pioneer because you're kind of swiping off into the wild blue yonder. You know? <laughs> right. But it's, I am not a technology guru or a genius at this stuff, and I'm old, and I've been making it work pretty well, so I think, in my opinion, most anybody can use it. 